What's going on plugins? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about Dylan Harper's college decision. Before we get into this video, make sure you drop a like. And if you're new here, sub to the channel and become a part of the family. Now let's get into the video. Today, Dylan Harper made his college decision and this could shake up things for college basketball. Dylan Harper's ranked as the second best player in the 2024 class. He had to pick from his top five list that included colleges such as Rutgers, Duke, Indiana, Auburn, and Kansas. But everyone knew it was gonna come down to Rutgers or Duke. All crystal ball predictions have Rutgers as the heavy favorites but Duke had a good chance to get him. He ultimately decided to stay home and commit to Rutgers. This is huge for that program, and most importantly, this is huge for New Jersey having a top prospect stay home. If a top-ranked prospect from New Jersey had the opportunity to choose between Rutgers or Duke, they're going to choose a college like Duke every time. Y'all feel what I'm saying, plugins? Top-ranked prospects don't go to a college like Rutgers. Dylan Harper becomes the highest-ranked recruit to ever choose the program. This is what he told 24-7 Sports about picking Rutgers. They're not recruiting me for my family and my brother, but they're recruiting me for me. They have been recruiting me every step of the way, so them just staying by my side is really a good thing. For the people who don't know, his older brother Ron Harper Jr. played for Rutgers, but it seems like they showed Dylan Harper the most love during the recruitment process and made a good impression on him. Dylan Harper said he's excited to stay home so his friends and family can see him play. He has a chance to turn Rutgers into a powerhouse program. Imagine if all the top ranked players from New Jersey stayed home and played at Rutgers. New Jersey has produced some of the best basketball players in the country. If this season goes well for Rutgers, and they can make some noise in March Madness, maybe players will follow the trend and stay home. Why go to these blue blood schools where you can stay in Jersey and make some noise? Dylan Harper's ready to work and win games. He said this, I believe with our recruiting class and returning players, we can help Rutgers win and get to the NCAA tournament and make a deep run. I feel like my game is something they're missing. I will be playing with some other really good players. Also, he takes his work ethic serious. He told Slam this, every time I step foot in the gym, it doesn't matter who's in there, who's watching, or where it's at, I'm always gonna put 100% effort into it. So it sounds like he's locked in and ready to change the program. He'll be teaming up with the third ranked player in the 2024 class, Ace Bailey. Nobody expected Rutgers to land two top three prospects. Ace Bailey and Dylan Harper are gonna be one of the best freshman duos. Ace Bailey's a really good player and their play style should work well together. I'm already excited for next season. I'm definitely pulling up to some Rutgers games. With this duo, Rutgers should be able to win a lot of games. I'm not saying they're going to win a natty, but I expect them to make the NCAA tournament and make a deep run. Who knows? Maybe they can win it all. You never know. I would love to see Rutgers win a national championship. It would be nice for college basketball if that happened. Rutgers 2024 class ranks third in the country. I'm curious if they can add a third star to this team. Most of the top ranked players are already committed to a school, so it might be done for this class unless someone shocks us all and decommits for Rutgers. But this team will be scary next season, so don't be surprised when it happens. Rutgers fans, how do y'all feel about Dylan Harper committing? Will Ace Bailey and Dylan Harper be one of the best duos in college? Drop your opinions in the comments. Make sure you drop a like on the video and sub to the channel. Turn on post notifications so you know when I post. I'm dropping more videos this week, so you don't want to miss out on that. I appreciate y'all, and I'll see you in the next video. Till next time.